Hey, what's going on guys? This is Kedar here and uh, this is a power bank. Now, it's a lot of bulky power bank, 10,000 milliamps per hour, indicator status, 3 USB ports, 1 charging port. But yeah, you don't need all of these features all the time. Instead, what you'll need a small power bank that can just hang on to your phone and it's a uh, lightweight maybe 50 grams or something like that uh, well yeah you can see it's 40 grams 5 volt 1 amp um, USB charging power bank and more specifically it's a one time use emergency charger so I don't know like what ecologist think about this one cause it, it sounds like a waste power bank cause you just don't have a charging board for this power bank so I'm quite interested to check out what's inside this power bank. So yeah, let's open it up and see. So first of all, let's see what's here. So it might be 1800 or 500 milliamps. So yeah, let's see what's in here. So it's like a fancy pouch. Oh, it's a uh, quite nice looking. Let me get this aside. So here you can see white power bank. And is it for Android or uh, iOS okay oh wow it has a very nice connector let me show you this one so this is a iOS connector onto this side and if you take a look from front it's actually Android connector so it's a two-in-one Android and iOS connector and what's this switch this is on off switch oh it's stuck oh my god oh it's on you can see okay so at least uh, it looks like it's working now let me get my phone and i will check uh, so for android i have to insert it like this oh increase the brightness for the phone okay. so it, is it working no it's not okay i have to switch the the switch is kind of a uh, sticky situation in the switch okay so i will try oh no this oh boom there you go blue led now let's see boom it's charging so there it is guys it's charging um they have a port for keychain something like that they should have integrated a charger something like that in here you can see this is a small little usb lithium ion battery charger I guess there should be a lithium ion battery in there. Let's see if we can manage to fit this guy. Now if you are interested, what's this? This is a TP4056 uh, lithium ion charging board. <laughs> I have quite a lot of this as you can see. They are quite cheap so you can buy in bulk anyways. So let me see what's inside this uh, charger. So we can analyze whether we can make this uh, totally ecologically friendly power bank cause you know guys uh, uh, I already like the weight of this power bank it it's it should be good for like uh, two or three hours of backup easily cause I can feel the weight is there but it's not too much like this one so yeah let's see what is here oh I should not break the clip I hope okay so I will use the screwdriver oh here we go so wow so minimalistic design the circuit is oh is that spark no that was just a sticky tape okay so this is a circuit let me show you in close so here you can see very minimalistic circuit as you can see inductor diode and yeah things like that boost circuit wow very minimalistic circuit there and uh, what about the battery there is a code right written over here let me take it out so is there like milliamps per hour or anything written onto it i don't know on the back side maybe i will use the screwdriver a very dangerous ideas anyways to poke into the battery anyways oh nothing just a metal can and there there is a hot glue residue over here uh, nothing onto this case as well so I think uh, like this is what we are stuck with now cause 
we don't have a charging port once it's discharged boom it's disposable you have to throw it away and honestly speaking i feel it's totally waste so i might add uh, this charger but where i'm thinking about this now actually you can see the chip is so small this tp4056 you can easily embed onto this circuit board you can totally see that mm, this one is a somewhat bigger circuit so it can be a little harder but yeah i will i will demonstrate just the theory i might not be able to fit this into the casing so boom let me show you so luckily i have soldered two wires uh now anyways my soldering iron is always heated up i can smell that so what should i do okay i will prefer the soldering bay just wait for a second i will heat up the iron so my soldering iron is heated up you can see the tip is nice and shiny i did something like this with my cutter so yeah that's why it's shiny anyways so let's uh, solder this wires now i'm going to use this cutter to cut the excess wires red is positive and black is negative okay like this here that should be enough let's thin the wires there and quickly solder this okay there okay and this one is now our power bank is also rechargeable so let me turn off the soldering iron and let me demonstrate uh, with a charger so here i got a small little usb cable and let's see whether we can able to charge this power bank or not so here we go wow boom there is a red led that means it's charging and uh, just uh, to know what's the voltage of this battery from the factory i will get my multimeter and show you so this let's check the voltage um oh 4.0 volts that's quite good that means uh, this battery is obviously a good quality one and yeah we can surely trust this i think they can't make a non rechargeable battery in this form factor cause it's much easier to get a rechargeable one so yeah boom and you can see guys one more advantage of this setup you get a pass through power bank that means you can charge the power bank as well as charge your phone simultaneously so yeah I, so i brought my usb power meter so just you can check the voltage current and all the all of that stuff so let me plug it in so let me show you is it visible i don't know sorry the power meter voltage was not visible i opened it up now let's see oh it's much better now at least we can see this okay boom now the bigger display you can see it's a uh, 320 milliamps now let's connect this uh, power bank to my phone and see what's the kind of a consumption we get mm, okay like like this boom there you go phone is charging there you go you can see 912 20 milliamps so it's charging the power bank as well as my phone so yeah i think uh, this will be a uh, good mod cuz you can see guys if i take this out uh, actually the phone and the power bank is so lightweight i can hold this and use this phone comfortably and for a more extended battery backup this is good enough there is a product uh, which is known as a lg cam plus uh, this is for lg g5 they used to sell this it has a battery backup inside this and it uh, makes as a nice camera grip there is a zoom button so yeah something like this um this is the power bank which can add on to any phone and it's a quite lightweight not that quite nice looking but it's surely functional so yeah 
uh, let me know what do you think about this quick little mod onto this power bank and i will add, add a links to all the products in the description below so you can check it out and there's always thanks for watching peace goodbye